Right, we're basically going to dismantle the um, BO Sound 3000 um, Overture. Okay, this is to get the laser out. I just want to also point out that I'm not a Bang Allison repair specialist or anything like that. So when you actually take these apart, you're taking them apart at your own risk. Um, just be careful with what you're doing. Make sure that you haven't got the mains on. Okay, so far what I've done is I've taken the doors off. Um, they're pretty easy to get off. All you have to do is just pull them and they will come off. Just pull them gently without breaking them. Now, I've left the CD cover open. Now, there's a reason behind that and I'll show you that reason in a minute. Now, I'm actually going to unplug the back. Okay, so all the lights are off. I'm going to remove the CD. Now, we're going to take these covers off. Now, these covers actually come off very gently. Don't really pull them or anything. But if you just pull them at the bottom like that, they will come off like so. Just do it gently. You don't need to really pull them or get a screwdriver in there or anything like that because you mark them. And even when you wipe them, it leaves marks. So you do have to be very careful. Now we can actually see all the bits inside. We don't need to touch any of this. We've got eight screws one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're using a hexagon screwdriver. So we're gonna remove these screws one by one. Just do it very gently. Um, so you don't mark anything, just watch what you're doing with a screwdriver at all times. Of course it's easier with a magnetic screwdriver. So we'll actually take the screws out for you. Okay, so we've actually just removed the eight screws that are actually holding the surround. Now what we're going to do, and you have to do this fairly gently, is you just pull it just a little bit. And we've kept this flap open for a reason, so what you can do now is close that flap as it goes down. And you can see like a little sort of elbow that fits into the CD opening. So all we do is we push that across and remove that and just very gently hold that up there somehow. Come down a bit, there you go. Now very simple to do as well, um, we need to remove this part here which actually covers the unit. Now this part is, is very easy to do. All you do, flat ended screwdriver, just very gently push down and then you've got little clips. So you're going in and just pushing downwards like so. And then you just pull it out gently like that. If you can see them clips so when you put your screwdriver in, you're actually pushing them clips down to release that. Okay, so we got this far. Now, this is the part here that we're after and we're going to remove now. The wires are actually held in by these little, little clasps. Again, we're using a hexagon driver. And we're going to undo these. three screws that we need to take off. Ok, 
Okay, so we've removed these three screws that are actually holding the, the wires to the, the assembly part there. Now, what we're actually going to do, we're going to remove what we call a VAM unit or the CDM unit. That's held in by four screws. Now, again, they're hexagon screws, but you can also use a flat-ended screwdriver on these. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just remove them. Okay, they come out fairly easy. Now, we've undone three screws here and the four screws there. So we're looking at the unit. Now, so what we do is very gently, no need to pull it or anything, but just gently lift it out. And you'll find that it's, if you look in there, you can see that it's, it's hooked underneath there. So you just gently pull that off like that. And you have three wires. You have one wire there, which is a connector. Gently pull that out. Another two there. And remember the green one goes at the bottom. Fairly easy to remember. And you just pull them out gently. No need to yank them. Now this is the unit that we have. We're left with this unit. Which is a double sided PCB. With the laser inside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace that laser. Again, this is part one of the disassembly of the actual unit. You will require um, a hexagon screwdriver, which you can buy on eBay, um, very, very cheap. Um, that's a T10 hexagon screwdriver, um, so that's fairly easy. Magnetic. I hope this answers all your questions. Um, just a few tips. You don't need to take the wires off the back of these, but just be very careful because remember these, you know, these, these units look very pretty and if you get a mark on it, you're going to ruin the unit and it's going to cost you X amount of money for a new, a new part um, and obviously B&O lovers like their stuff mint as I do. Um, so I hope this has answered some of your questions and given you an overview on how to actually pull one of these apart. Um, thank you very much. Again, I am not a trained B&O technician, so you're doing it this at your own risk. Any faults or errors you might do or even breakages, I will not be held responsible for. Thank you very much and have a good day.